hello everyone i hope you're having a wonderful december and i hope you're having a wonderful day um today i have a collective haul for you i've picked up some new bits and bobs and i really want to share them with you some of them i got in the black friday sales i didn't get much in the black friday sales i got like two things um some of the bits are just like some winter pieces some nice pieces to treat myself i've even got some uniqlo in here because <laughs> i have an obsession and it's continuing always um so yeah but there's lots of new bits and bobs that you might want to add to your own wardrobe for the festive period when we go to like christmas day and like doing fun things with family or maybe you just want to buy yourself a gift whatever i've got all of the things to share with you today the rail looks quite chaotic because there's a lot of winter accessories if you watch my last video or it might be the video before the last video my uniqlo winter accessories haul go check that out because i've got all of like the best winter accessories things that i think are worth buying into obviously uniqlo is amazing but today i have got some from other places so i can share them with you too but i'm going to jump in and start with this stunning skirt um basically my management is having a christmas party on monday and i wanted to get something to wear for it but i didn't want to buy something that i wasn't going to wear again one thing i'm really trying to do when it comes to party wear or anything like that is always buying things that i can wear either next christmas or i can wear into spring summer as well um i just don't see the point otherwise because i just won't wear it because i'm not really like a big dressed up kind of person unless i actually have somewhere to go and often like i don't have anywhere that's super dressed up anyway um i got this skirt this is from topshop obviously got it on asos i love this champagne color i think these kind of satin skirts are great for wearing now but you can also wear them in the summer and i love being able to wear like a really lovely champagne satin in the summertime so this is why i kind of wanted to get this skirt anyway um it's got a really lovely slit which is nice when you're wearing it nice little tie it's a really pretty skirt actually i really like it i'm planning to wear it with like a black top some black heels and maybe some sort of sparkles but I don't know, that's my initial thoughts, but that is the skirt, I'm very excited to wear it, it does need a steam, because it's creased, I only literally got it the other day, got this in a size 4, um, and it fits perfectly, and I love it, and I can't wait to wear it, and I also can't wait to wear it in the summer, I just think it's so beautiful, I love champagne satin slip skirts and dresses, I just think they look chef's kiss if i'm honest <laughs> um next i have some bits from arquette i haven't shopped in arquette in a while um you guys know i love arquette um i have an obsession and i have an obsession with this one particular jumper um and i bought it in another color <laughs> this is the um i can't remember what the name of the jumper is but i've got it in gray and i've also got it in a like beigey brown color i saw they brought out this dark brown color and i instantly was like you're coming home with me so i took myself to arquette just to buy this jumper obviously in the process i have also bought other things um but i just love the color of this i don't have a jumper in this color that fits like more oversized and i really wanted like an oversized jumper like this because i just love these I just love this style of jumper. I love this jumper from Marquette. I can't rave about it more. It's so nice. It's a tad itchy, but if you're wearing a long sleeve top underneath, you'd be fine. Um, I wear them all the time. They are so comfortable. They're such lovely jumpers. And yeah, when I saw they brought out this like chocolate brown color, I thought, um, yes, I need it. So yeah, I'm very excited to wear this. They're very much worth the money if you're looking to buy this jumper. And like I said, they do them in so many different colours. So if this isn't your vibe, they do they do like a really nice bright blue colour that I saw. I nearly bought it, but I thought, no, Charlotte, buy something you're actually going to wear. <laughs> so I bought that one. Um talking of colour though, I picked up this top. Now basically i was in the shop and i went to go and get that jumper that's the only reason i went in there because i was like i need this jumper i saw it was like available online in store online do you know what i mean i saw it was available in store and i was like i'm going to get it and then i had a little wander around and i saw this and this is just a simple um long sleeve top it's a really lovely material though it's not like a jersey it's like a almost like a really fine knit but it is a jersey it's a really it's a lovely material anyway um i love green and i love being able to add a bit of color into an outfit and one thing i'm really trying to do is buy things that just elevate an outfit and make it look a little bit different without 
spending loads of money or buying something that's out of my comfort zone so i love green and i just thought this was really sweet i think they did this in a couple of other colors as well um it wasn't the cheapest it was 45 pounds but i live in long sleeve tops in the winter time whether i'm wearing them under something or whether i'm wearing them on their own or whether i'm wearing them for dinner or whatever um they're just a really good piece to have and they're a good piece to take into year after year after year like you can never go wrong with a long sleeve top if you don't wear it just wear it under something like right now i've got a uniqlo long sleeve top on underneath this and i just think they're great whether it's colorful or not um so yeah i picked up that and i really liked it because i just i love a little splash of green like green is my favorite color which you will see in a minute because i got some more green things from arca um but before i go into that i also got this long sleeve white top i often wear like a more baggier long sleeve white top under my uniqlo these uniqlo knits often with my gray one i wear a long sleeve white top and i really like the way it looks when it like pokes out the sleeves obviously if you've got a wider um cuff sleeve if it like falls down or if it like is just open you can see the top underneath now if you're wearing something that doesn't necessarily go with what you're wearing it's not ideal because you look a bit like say you're wearing like a i don't know a floral print top underneath and that wasn't the vibe you're going for um it kind of can be a bit annoying so these kind of tops are great because you can see them and they just go nicely because they're just simple and white um i have one like this from i think i got it from h&m like years ago um but i wanted a new one so that i can have one when that one's in the wash um and yeah i really like it. it's just like a wide sleeve it's like a long sleeve t-shirt essentially but um yeah i really like it and it's a really nice material this one i don't know if this has a price 35 euros i don't know what that is in pounds i bought this one online um because i made an order with something which i will show you and now i got this scarf so i don't know about any of you but i have become majorly obsessed with scarves hats like anything to pizzazz my outfit up because i get very very like simple with my clothing in the winter i just like to be warm i want it to be like you know jumper and jeans or jumper and trousers jumper do you know what i mean so one thing i really really think is quite important when it comes to a winter wardrobe is changing up your accessories because accessories are ultimately the thing that make your outfit look a little bit different and you don't have to go and spend loads of money on accessories but i do think switching up your scarf or your hat can really make a difference if you're wearing the same black coat or the same brown coat or ever every single day anyway i saw this scarf online which happened to be an online exclusive and therefore I ordered it and ordered other things at the same time um and it's just a brown is it brown beige camel and black stripe scarf i just thought it was quite sweet um i've not worn it it literally arrived yesterday but um it's kind of more of a thinner scarf it's not super chunky which is great if you may be wearing a roll neck and you just want something extra layer but it's not too like chunky chunky if you're wearing quite a chunky coat and you want something not too big to wear with a chunky coat this is a really good option um and i really like it it is a tad itchy so if you're sensitive to these kind of things don't get this but i did think it was really nice and i really liked the color matching it's very neutral which is great if you're wearing more of a neutral outfit but you want to add a bit of something different i find it really hard sometimes when you're wearing quite a neutral outfit and you want something that's got a bit of pattern but you don't want color this is a really good option because it adds a bit of pattern while still being neutral and i just love that and i really liked the style of this and it's a lovely knit as well um, but like i said it is a bit itchy so if you're prone to itchy materials then prone to itchy materials if, it, if you're sensitive to it just don't get that um then i got some quite colorful head accessories of which both are green because green is my favorite color um and i just can't ever help myself but i got this green hat basically i don't own a great bright green hat um or beanie i have a quite an extensive beanie collection um and green is like my go-to color if i want to add a bit of color um and i saw this and i just thought it was quite cute it is a bit more of a bright it looks quite highlightery on the screen but it's not it's like i don't know i just think it's really sweet it's really lovely it's not a um winter color no it's not a christmasy green it's like a nice bright pop of color kind of green and that's what i quite liked about it i don't really like when you buy something that's just suited for one type of um time of year i really wanted it to be something that i could wear obviously 
into spring not that it'd be necessarily cold into spring but if it's still cold and i want a hat and i want to feel a little bit brighter it's a good color but also just to add a bit of color to an outfit um and i really liked this so i got it they do also do this in a few other colors if you're a fan of a beanie i love a good beanie that one is really nice i have worn it it's nice and warm do recommend um the other winter accessory oh no it's not a winter accessory hair accessory that i got is this now i'm not a hair accessories person really i tend to just either have my hair down or my hair up i'm not really like a hair accessories person i love a scrunchie but that's about it um and i saw this and i just thought that is so sweet because it like encapsulates that whole idea of a headband while still being very much suited to my style something i could wear all year round which again is something that i really wanted to make sure when buying something like this because it's a hair accessory i won't necessarily wear it all the time but i want something that i can wear all the time if i wanted to um and i have a headband that i wear when i wash my face and sometimes I look at my hair and I think, oh, headband really good. So I got this and I actually really like it. It's a really lovely velvet um, material. They do one like this that's like sparkly, which I very nearly got. But I thought, no, I'm going to get something that's a little bit more muted. And I really like it. I'll pop it on for you just to show you. Like, I'm not super feminine and girly when it comes to hair accessories. I really, I'm not like a bow kind of gal. But I just thought this was really sweet. <laughs> And I just think, you know, sometimes you just need something to pizzazz an outfit up. Like if you're wearing, for example, cream knit like this and a pair of jeans and black boots, just pop on something like this and it just adds something to your outfit without having to wear something bright or switch up too much. So I love this and I am hoping maybe potentially to wear it with this. But I don't know. I was maybe thinking of wearing a sparkly dress and then this is the, hair, the, the accessory, but who knows. Um, so yeah, and then the last thing I got from Arquette, sorry, I bought so much from Arquette. I didn't quite realise how much stuff I bought. Um, are these little bras. Now I have featured these before um, because I bought this one before. And basically the one I have, this little cream one, I love. It looks so nice on. Um, it somehow got like discoloured in the wash. I don't know how. I must have washed it, usually when I do my washing, this is, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'll do my whites and then my darks, but sometimes the odd, like, thing that can go into either can slip in and, oh, you know what I mean? Basically, I needed a new one because my other one looks disgusting. And you know when you're like, if I was to ever see anyone wearing this, I'd feel embarrassed. Not that anyone would, but you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I got this one. And then I also got this because I just thought it was really pretty and I just couldn't help myself. It's a little satin bra top. Whether you wear it under like a nice top or like so you can see it or um, on its own or just as a bra. I just thought it was really sweet. I don't have anything like this and um, I don't know. It just intrigued me so I bought it and that's the last thing I got from Marquette. Now going into uh, Uniqlo. Um, I only have a few things from Uniqlo because you would have seen some of them in my previous video. But I always go into Uniqlo. I rave about it all the time. I highly recommend going in there for layers, for any sort of long sleeve top you need to wear under a jumper. They're amazing. So nice. So warm. Soft on the skin, which I think is so important. And everything they sell is just amazing. You don't need me to tell you that. Um, but yeah, these are a pair of flared leggings. Now, before I was never that fussed about flared leggings, but I saw someone wearing them and I thought, they're kind of cute. And um, I love wearing black leggings, like whether I'm around the house or just popping out. They're great at this time of year if you want comfort, but like put together. Um, and I saw these and I just instantly bought them because they're really soft. They're so nice on the skin incredibly comfortable and like i said they are flared i have worn these a few times and i can tell you that they're great i think they're designed to actually wear like for active wear but i don't i wear them as a fashion piece but they'd be great if you did want to wear them for active purposes as well which i think is amazing they also do these in like three other colors i think there's a, a gray khaki color um i can't remember what the other colors are but really nice really comfortable highly recommend um honestly i wore them when i went to see my friend and she was like 
I need myself a pair of those. I was like, yes, you absolutely do. So I highly recommend. And then the other bits that I picked up, I'm gonna get them out of the bag. And firstly, this scarf, you would have seen this scarf, this exact scarf in my previous Uniqlo video, um, because I got it in cream and then I loved it so much that I bought it in the gray. I don't really need this scarf. I don't need any scarves. I actually got another one too. Um, but like I said before, scarves are great for like switching up your outfit when you're out and about especially if you do have like one or two coats that you just alternate between the two um and this scarf is so nice um it's super long as well so you can wrap it like this or you can wrap it around like that and it still has quite a bit of material left which i think is so good when it comes to scarves because then you can wrap it around again or you can tuck it into your coat easy just what we want um so yeah i got that and um i really like it i don't actually have a dark gray scarf which was my reasoning as to why i decided to get this even though i don't need it um but you know scarf collection growing and i'm here for it the other things that i got that i'm holding between my legs <laughs> are some socks uniqlo socks are amazing again i've mentioned this before um but if you're looking for some nice like cozy socks to wear around the house to keep your feet warm because obviously it's um then uniqlo is the place to go i got these ones this time they're like little trainer socks and they come in like a few different colors i just thought they'd be really good for wearing around the house when you get out of bed and you need some socks to put on these are good ones to go for because you just whack them on get out of bed um i tend to have like a few pairs of cozy socks that i just put on before i well like when i get out of bed before i go anywhere um so that my feet aren't like freezing because i have wooden floors and i tell you what they're cold in the mornings um and then the last thing i got no surprise here um one of these heat tech uh crew neck long sleeve tops just a basic long sleeve top but they're amazing this one is 14.90 um they do different thicknesses so you can get like a more thicker style if you're wanting to keep extra warm or if you're just wanting a basic long sleeve top this is great but yeah they do all different types of tops different necklines and stuff so um there's probably one to suit everyone i bought my mum one that was like a um thicker roll neck style and it's so nice and soft which is great if you again want that like extra warmth um another thing while we're on this topic of like accessories even though that wasn't like an accessory but we're here now um i got this scarf i treated myself to this scarf now i basically just all of a sudden decided that i really wanted this scarf and typically online it was sold out so i went into the ganny store and i picked up this bad boy and i'm so happy i did because i really really like it it's quite a thin scarf like it's quite a small style scarf so it's not like one of those ones that's like super warm but this is actually warm i've worn this a few times and I really like it. Like, it just adds a bit of colour. It adds a bit of something without being too in your face. Um, and I really like it. I think it really suits my style. Um, I don't really need to... What's the word? What's the word? When you... Um, I don't really need to justify it. Because I really like it. And I, I genuinely think it's such a nice piece. Um, but I'm just letting you know that's my reasoning. <laughs> as to why I bought this scarf. But I really like it. Um, and I actually saw it on someone who works for pandora i love her and she was like she was wearing it and i was like oh i like that but i just didn't think anything of it and i think subconsciously it's been in my brain this whole time and then bam i decided i wanted it i want it i got it i want it i got it i see it i like it i want it i got it the next thing is a little pajama set or lounge set maybe from gilly hicks gilly hicks had a really good discount for black friday it was like 30 percent off and i think they often do have discounts anyway but i basically wanted some new pajamas i have got the pajamas but i have worn them so i'm going to pop a picture on the screen of the pajamas that i have they're literally over there on my bed but i've worn them and i don't really want to share them with you because i have worn them for like a a good few days now <laughs> so let's not share them i'll pop the picture on the screen of what they look like and i'll obviously link them below they are the softest pajamas ever like so comfortable so warm like i've been wearing them for the last few days they're really nice i really wanted some pajamas some new pajamas because mine are just gross but i hate pajamas that are wide leg i like them when they're cuffed because when you're sleeping and if you move and they roll up your leg i'm just not about it so i've been looking for some for ages and i found those and um, they are festive but you know it's christmas so i was like 
fuck it i'm just gonna get them um and then i saw this set which is a little bit more of like a lounge set but i would wear this to bed um it's a little like a waffle texture um set this is a little top it's got a high neck um kind of a shorter style top which is nice because it just sits nicely with the leggings that go with it um i have tried this on the leggings are a tiny bit like loose but they're pajamas and it doesn't really bother me they're really nice and really comfortable um i always struggle with these kind of things being a bit loose around my waist slash top around my tummy kind of area because i'm quite small um but they are so nice and so comfortable the leggings were 26 pounds and i does the top have a label i don't even know does it the top was also 26 pounds as a set really really cute great gift if you know someone who is looking for something like this um and their pajamas are really nice i also bought my mum some like trousers they're like comfy trousers um i think they're te probably technically pajamas um or lounge wear trousers they're really really soft their stuff is so soft if you're someone who wants something that's really soft on the skin and comfortable gilly hicks is your place to go i did also get some underwear comfortable underwear again great place to go the last few things that i have to share with you are from weekday and i absolutely love weekday um i don't always always shop there um but there's a few things from weekday that i just absolutely adore one of which are their jeans i think i have spoken about this before but i absolutely love their jeans and i finally got myself i haven't even done these up a new pair of my favorite jeans which are the weekday row jeans um, I got a new black pair because I tend to wear black jeans a lot in the autumn winter time. I don't know why, but I just gravitate towards black jeans a lot more. I don't really wear them for all year round, just more so in the autumn winter. But um, yeah, my ones are looking a little bit less black, more grey at this point. So I wanted to get a new pair um, because why not um and yeah i've got a new pair these are a waist 24 leg 30 i will say these ones are longer than the ones i already own i don't know if i had like a um faulty pair or whatnot when i got my last ones the last ones i have they fit like the length is just chef's kiss these are not so chef's kiss length but i can always get them turned up so that's not really a major thing for me i just haven't got around to actually doing that yet they are still like the perfect length on me and um, they're just a little bit baggier at the bottom which isn't an issue because i like jeans like that um but i wasn't expecting them <laughs> to fit like that um so yeah, i think they also need like a wash i don't know about any of you but sometimes i find jeans when they're fresh are just a little bit like they need a little bit of like doing to them so i just need to throw them in the wash so they have a little bit more like I don't know, I think they just need to be worn. I find jeans when they're super, super fresh, especially black jeans, they just need to be worn a bit and then they become perfect. So I need to do that. The last thing that I have to show you, I really messed up my rail today. I don't know what's going on with me, is this coat. Oh my God, this coat. So I was looking for a new coat um, black, around Black Friday because basically I have a cream like teddy coat I've got like a grey um, herringbone style coat, it's like grey slash beige, um, and I have a black coat, but I don't have anything that is more like warm toned, that's not a teddy coat, because I don't always want to wear a teddy coat. And I was really thinking about it, I was like, what colour coat would really suit my wardrobe? I was like, a brown or like a camel maybe? I was having a look around, there was a lot of white coats, but I just don't really trust myself in a white coat. So I saw this on weekday and I was like, that's beautiful, love that. And I was like, okay, I just like had the tab open. And then the next day it went half price in like a random Black Friday sale that they were having. I think it was like on a Saturday or something after Black Friday. And I was like, oh my God, so I instantly bought it. Um, and it's this amazing brown coat. You can't really see it. I'll pop a picture on the screen of what it looks like because I don't even think the try on clip will do it justice. But it is so nice. It's quite long. I'm five foot four and it's like probably like that much off the floor for me, which I don't mind. Um, it really covers the body, which is great if you're someone who gets really cold because then it keeps the heat within your body versus like air getting in. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's so lovely. It is like a brushed style fabric, which does mean that it will probably... Um, bubble a little bit more which is fine i've got a debobbler so i'll just use that um it's just one of those fabrics that's going to happen but um it's so nice it's also got like a tie so you can tie it up um i think it was 
120 or 130 pounds without the discount obviously i did get it half price so it was cheaper but i highly recommend it it's a really nice coat it's really heavy and weighty which i think you want with a coat especially if you're spending the money on it but i do think spending money on coats is well worth it um especially because it's already cold and we're in december so god knows what it's going to be like in january and february because those months are just something else when it comes to being cold so definitely get yourself a new coat if you're looking for one highly recommend that i think they do it in another color but weekday coats are really really nice so if you're looking for one i highly recommend my apple watch has been popping off this whole time and i've had to stop myself from looking at it oh talking of apple watches i also got this new apple watch strap um so i haven't used my apple watch in like donkey's years because my strap i did have for it broke and i really really don't like the apple watch strap it's like um it's like a black strap that came with it I just feel like I look like Ben 10 or like, I don't know. It's just, it's not my vibe. So I finally got myself a new strap. This is from Coconut Lane. They do an array of really nice straps. My friend Meg, um, she actually has this one. And I was like, where did you get that? Because I wanted something that was like not super expensive, but still looked nice. And um, she had it and I was like, I want that. Because Apple do one exactly like this. Probably slightly different gold colour. Um, and it's like £100 and I was not willing to spend £100 on a watch strap. So um, yeah, I think this was about 30 maybe. Um, but yeah, finally got it. Finally used my Apple Watch again. It's been a while since she's been on my wrist. So, you know. Anyway, that's everything that I picked up recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything below and all the sizing will be below as well. So you can go check all the items out. If you have any questions on anything, pop it in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!